Coming in, Piedmont's going to be in the dark jerseys trimmed in gold. Emory in there gray with the blue numerals. And Emory just comes at you all different kinds of ways. They like to press full court. And they've got a lot of offensive firepower with four starters in double figures. And the point guard, Nick Stuck, doing a tremendous job running the show, averaging 7.8 points per game, 3.3 rebounds per contest, and 6.1 assists per game. The Lions are out there ready to rumble. Here come the starting lineup for your Emory Eagles. Lawrence Rowley is going to be jumping center against Michael Joseph. And this game is about to get underway here at the Woodruff PE Center. The ball is up. The tip is up. It goes to Piedmont College, and this ball game is underway. Ori Clemens Owen with the basketball. He gives it up to the corner to Riley. Riley goes back into the corner. 21 quick with this quick shot. He misfires, but... Uh, the Lions with the rebound. Kind of a wild pass to Quick. Stolen away. And here comes Roman Williams. Who loses the handle on the fast break. So it's going to be Piedmont College basketball. And Emory's going to pick up in kind of a 1-2-1-1 full court pressure zone. Nick Stuck kind of at the point of that defense. Trying to trap Clemens Owen now. Into the corner it goes. Clement Owens with it. He's checked by Stuck. Now Quick drives in, turn around, fade away, jump shot. Quick gets a quick two and a quick lead, but Emery right back with a great pass and then the hoop by Matt Davitt. Ties the ball game up at 2 2. Emery back with that full court pressure as Miles, Michael Joseph brings it across the timeline. Quick with it now into the corner to Riley. Riley amongst the tall timber has to come back outside. Emory in a man-to-man -man defense. Riley on Joseph. Joseph with the baby hook. And then it goes for Jordan Foote, the leading scorer on the team with a 13.8 average. And it's 4-2, to two, the Lions on top. Emory yet the lead early in this basketball game. Schneer comes outside. Rowley takes it in. No good. Partially blocked. Matt Davitt muscles it up. It's blocked. Rowley with it. He puts it back up with the left-handed in. Lawrence Rowley ties the game at 4-4. Piedmont College trying to break that press with a long pass. Along they go. Joseph with it now. The quick. Down into the corner. Foot with it. And then there's an offensive foul call on Logan Foot. So it's Emory basketball. 17.43 to go here in the first half. Game tied at 4-4. Piedmont College drops back into a half court. Defensive pressure. Nick stuck with it now, looking for somewhere to go. Quickly, they whip it around. Long Ranger three-pointer. Rack it up by Matt Davitt. And the Emory Eagles have their first lead on a Matt Davitt three-pointer to make it 7-4. to four. Riley with it now, getting into a little bit of trouble. Gets it out to Quick. Quick looks for the three-pointer, comes cross court. Long Ranger, no good. Tipped up once, no good. Matt Davitt last to touch it, battling under the board. And it's going to be Lions basketball. 17.08 to go, 7-4. Emory with a three-point lead here early, early, early in the basketball game. Emory 8-0 on the season, and it's stolen away, snatched out of the air by Matt Davitt for the turnover. Long Ranger, three-pointer, no good by Roman Williams. Schnare battles, gets that offensive board. Comes back outside to Davitt, cross court to Schnare. Nair has it taken away by foot. And out come the Lions. Quick quickly takes the baseline. He gets into a little bit of trouble. They save it out to foot, top of the key. 
Checked by Rowley. Quick from three. In and out, no good. Matt David doesn't even have to jump. Great job of blocking out. He picks up another rebound. Davitt now to Stuck, stuck over to Rowley. Rowley from three, in and out, no good. Davitt crashes the board, it goes off him, and it's gonna be Piedmont College basketball. Seven to four, your score. Emory with a three-point lead, thanks to a three-pointer by Matt Davitt. He has five points, Rowley has the other hoop. Emory with a full court pressure now. Joseph with it. Loses the handle, gets it across the timeline. Gives it up to Clement Owens. Clement Owens checked by Roman Williams. Clement Owens with the jumper and he hits. Seven to six. Emory's lead trimmed to one. Emory quickly down court. That's the kind of up tempo that Coach Jason Zimmerman wants his ball club to play. Baseline it is. No good by Mason Johnson who just checked into the lineup. Quickly down court is Riley. He gives it back up to Michael Joseph. And then to Clements Owen. Clement Owen trying to somewhere to go, goes to Quick. Quick drives in, puts up a left-handed shot that somehow goes in, and the Lions retake the lead at seven to six, seven to eight. Around the horn they go, Emory trying to get off a pass. Roman Williams drives in, stolen away. Great two-man, quick up with it, no good. Roman Williams comes out, watch him go. Coach Jason Zimmerman said he's the fastest guy in all of Division Three, from free throw line to free throw line, but there's a turnover there. Clay Washburn now, number 33, the 6'6", 180 pound junior out of Brentwood, Tennessee, checks in for the Emory Eagles. Roman Williams out there as well. Schneer, Rowley, and Mason Johnson make out the five in gray. Stolen away almost, wild shot by Riley, picked out of there by Mason Johnson. And Emory's got it ball, working around a long ranger, three-pointer, no good by Williams. And it's eight to seven, Piedmont College with the lead. Blocked out of bounds by Mason Johnson. So it's gonna be the Lions ball under their own hoop. Emory down by a point. Riley pressuring the inbounds pass. In it goes and then off it goes. And it's going to be Emory basketball as Emory forces a turnover. And as it went off Dalton Miller's foot. Roman Williams now going against kind of a zone pressure. Put up by the Lions. Schneer with it. Top of the key. Fires a three. Just a little bit short, but what a tremendous offensive board by Clay Washburn. Clay Washburn really keeping the basketball alive with a tremendous effort on the offensive glass. And he's going to go to the free throw line with a chance to give the Emory Eagles the lead. Clay's done a great job off the bench for the Emory Eagles this year. He's averaging 5.6 points per game, 4.4 rebounds per contest. He's a 67% free throw shooter. Cash that one in, tie the game up at 8-8. And now with a chance to give Emory the lead. 13.57 to go here in the first half. Misfires there, so we got a tie game at 8-8. Lions with it now. Clement Owen brings it across, timeline. He's checked by Roman Williams. Inside it goes to Joseph. Baby hook, no good. Nice rebound there by Mason Johnson. Quickly to the point guard. Roman Williams, corner it goes, three-pointers up, no good. Matthew Snair tried to get it, but Joseph had better position, so up ahead they come. Blocked beautifully 
by Clay Washburn. It goes out of bounds. Dalton Mueller tried to put up the shot, and Clay Washburn said, not in my house. So Mueller's going to trigger it inbounds to the lines. Comes back outside to Clement Owens. Baby hook now, no good by Joseph. And Nick Stuck has it. Back outside. Matt David has just checked back in. Clay Washburn from three. Swish, nothing but the bottom of the net. Clay Washburn hits and Emery has a three-point lead at 11 to eight. Back to that full court pressure. Mueller with it. Kind of a wild pass. And then a wild shot by Riley. No good. And Emery's got it. And Emery's got some numbers here as they come down. Nick Stuck takes it back out to Schnair. Inside to Mason Johnson. And a whistle blows. Fouls on number 11. That's Miles Riley. That's his first. That's the team's third. Emery's yet to commit a foul. And that's always good news. Schnair now triggering it in. And the Emory Eagles go to work. 18 seconds on the shot clock as it's tipped out of there by Quick. Matthew Schnair now will inbounds it. Goes to Nick Stuck. Emory will go into their offensive setup. With an 11-8 lead. Stuck into the corner. Three-pointer. Matthew Snare. Bingo! Three-pointer as Emory continues to hit from long range. And that's the biggest lead of the game at six as Emory takes a 14-8 advantage. And a steal. Picked back up by the Lions. Quick with it now. Top of the key. Over to Evan Easton. Evan Easton trying to make his move. Easton from three, no good. Tipped up nicely by Joseph, but Schnair comes down with it and outrace the Eagles. Stuck, looking for a lane. Comes back out to Schnair, cross court. Clay Washburn's hit a three already. Davitt to the free throw line, and he hits. Matt Davitt with a dagger, 16 to eight. Emery with an eight point lead, biggest of the game. Matt Davitt with seven points to pace the Eagles in scoring. And there's a timeout called with Emory leading at 16 to 8, 11 38 to go. Let's go by the numbers now. Emory won UA rank in scoring offense, 93.8 points per game for their Emory Eagles so far this year. Seven, the number of games Emory has out rebounded opponents, and it's a plus 12 and a half mark. Six, number of games this year, Matt Davis hit three or more trays, and he's on his way today. Eight career double doubles for Lawrence Rowley. Three in 1920 season. And 162, the number of career three point field goals for Roman Williams, seventh all time here at Emory University. In 579 consecutive games with a three point field goal. So let's make that 580. Wow. That's by the numbers here. And those are some pretty good numbers. Some other good numbers Emory's 8 0, undefeated. Other good numbers, Emory's number two in the country in all of Division Three. Some more good numbers, Emory was 20 and six last season and are the defending UAA champions. They'll tip off defense of the conference champion here at home at the Woodpeck Center on January 11th when Rochester comes to town. The first things first, the Piedmont College Lions are in the house tonight, trailing by eight, 16 to eight. And there's Clements Owen, running the show from the point guard. And he goes to foot, team's leading scorer. Easton, foot backing in, muscles one up, no good. Tipped away, but Roman Williams comes away with it. Behind the Mac he goes, looking for a hole. Comes back outside, Matt David from three. In and out, no good. And Jordan Foote with a big rebound for the Lions. Quick with it now, top of the key it goes. Clement Owens. Inside, almost tipped away as they try to go into foot. Foot sees quick, nice pass. 
Put the quick, good quick play, 16 to 10. Ducky has the ball tipped away and then stolen by Quick. Quick passes it inside to Clement Owen. He gets a bump there by uh, Greg Lawrence. No foul called, and it goes off of the Lions, so it's going to be Emory basketball. Greg Lawrence checking in. He's a good-looking 6'6 freshman out of Fairfield. Also checking in number 22, Max Freed, 6'4 freshman out of San Francisco. So 10-23 to go in the first half. Emory with a six-point lead, 16 to 10. Nick stuck with it to Matt David. David has seven points to pace Emory in this one. Kind of a wild pass, and it goes out of bounds. That's a turnover. And it'll be the Lions basketball. Will Richter with it. It'll be triggered in by Evan Easton. Andrew Stimson with it, brings it across the court. Top of the key it goes. Emory in that man-to-man -man defense. Stimson trying to give it up, gives it up to Foot. Foot loses the handle. Shot clock getting a little bit low. It's seven seconds. Foot takes it in. Nobody takes the charge. It's blocked by the rim. And a whistle's called against the Emory Eagles. That's going to be their first team foul. On number 12, Greg Lawrence. So that's his first. That's the team's first. And that's going to send Jordan Foote to the free throw line. He hits the first. He's the team's leading scorer, averaging 13.8 points per game. He's the team's leading rebounder, averaging 19.2 rebounds per game. Went to Druid Hills High School, lives in Snellville, Georgia. And the lead is cut to 16 to 12. 9.42 to go in the first half. Matt Davitt from three, no good. Nice block out there by the Lions. Lawrence Rowley was trying to get it, but he couldn't fight the block out. Into the corner it goes. Foot, the team's leading score, puts it up, no good air ball. Nice rebound there by David. And look at Lawrence Williams go to the hole. What speed, just a burst of speed between midcourt and the free throw line. He took a hard bump. We're hoping he's okay. He bounces up. He's going to be all right. Roman Williams is the team's leading scorer, averaging 19.6 points per game, 2.9 rebounds per game. He's averaging three three-pointers per game. And he's at the free throw line where he's an 81% free throw shooter. Hits the first. Gives Emory a five-point lead. And that's his first points of the game. As I mentioned, he's the team's leading scorer, averaging 19.6 per. And he hits the second. Emory's lead now back up to six at 18 to 12. Emory in the full court pressure. Will Richter. Richter now with it, drives in, lays it up nice handed. Will Richter with a hoop. Cuts the Emory lead to four at 18-14. Schnair inside to Rowley. Rowley, great work along the baseline, puts it up, no foul called. And out comes the Lions. Into the corner, quick, goes inside. Evan Easton, back and in, comes back outside. Will Richter with it to Easton. Back to Quick from three, no. Nice rebound by Rowley, and ahead to Roman Williams, who's so quick off the dribble. I mean, he can create so many things all by himself. Just give him a basketball and four or five guys to dribble through, and he's a happy guy. That's the fifth team foul on the Lions. 
Roman Williams again. Hits that one. He's hit three in a row. 81% free throw shooter on the year. Aaron Palmer, 6'8", sophomore from Marietta, checks in for the Lions. 19-14, your score. This game was tied at 8-8. Eight eight. And then Emory on a bit of a run here, 20-14. Simpson with it now. Checked by Stuck. Over to Will Richter. Almost stolen away from Quick. Quick takes it to the baseline, has to give it up. Long Ranger by Will Richter, no good. Rebound. By Aaron Palmer, long range in. In it goes for number 14, Andrew Stimson, a three-pointer, and cuts the Emory lead to just three at 20 to 17. Emory led by as many as eight at 16 to eight. Long Ranger, no good, long rebound. Rowley with a great long rebound. Schneer with it now, he backs up, almost takes the three. Now he does, and he hits. Matthew Schneer. Snares that one. He's averaging 18.7 points per game. And Emory's lead back to six at 23-17. When opponents come into the Woodruff PE Center, they know what they're in for. An up-tempo basketball team that loves to play defense. Number 25 out of Marietta High School. Aaron Palmer drills that one to make it 23-19. Great pass inside to David. David hits and he's going to get a chance for the three point play. Great pass by Lawrence Williams, Roman Williams. Inside to Matt David, who's got nine points already. Matt's averaging 18.4 points per game, five rebounds per game. He's hitting 3.7 three-pointers per game. That's a three-point play. And Emory has a 25-19 lead. Here's Emory with the full-court pressure. Snare and Stuck at the point, trying to get one of the lines to dribble into problems. Will Richter with it now. Over to Clement Owens. Will Richter, guarded by Stuck. Seven seconds on the shot clock. Inside they go. Riley with it to Quick, who's got to get away with it. And he does, and he hits the three-pointer. Check it, that's Will Richter with the three-pointer. Cuts the Emory lead to 26. 22. And another three-pointer. Roman Williams, he's averaging three three-pointers a game. Notches that one. Emory with the lead now, 29-22. Emory on the season, hitting 39% from the three-point arc. Stolen away, stuck with it quickly ahead. Roman Williams can't quite get it, and Clement Owen picks it off. Clement Owens with it. Checked by Nick Stuff, over to Will Richter. Richter, who feels he has the hot hand, travels before shooting that one. He does have five points. Emory with a seven-point lead, 29-22, 5.29 to go here in the first half. Nick Stuck, the team's point guard and leader, brings it across. Matthew Snare, Stuck from the free throw line, good. That's where he's so effective. He's not only the leader in assists, but he can score. And Emory now the nine-point lead. That's the biggest of the day. Will Richter with it goes to the corner. Cole Husky has it tipped away. Rowley with it. Takes it to the hoop. It's stolen away. And there's Cole Husky again bringing it down. Left-handed dribble. Puts it up with the right hand. Doesn't get it to go. Rebound there by number 25, Aaron Palmer, and the 6'8 sophomore 
Adam Marietta has done a great job since coming off the bench. Matthew Snare has it stolen away, and here's Riley. Riley quickly ahead to Clement Owens, who lays it up and lays it in, and it's 31 to 26. Emory's nine-point lead quickly whittled to five. 4.22 to go in the first half. Nick Stuck, who just hit a 15-footer. Over in the corner it goes. Schneer, cross court. Greg Lawrence with the fake. Then he goes in for the easy layup. Nice move by the freshman. Greg Lawrence, pump fake. Then the 6'6 freshman took it to the court, took it to the hole, laid it up and in. 33-26. Emory's been in the lead since it was breaking the 8-8 tie with a three-pointer to make it 11-8. And right now it's a seven-point advantage. Emory's biggest lead was nine. Mason Johnson, number 24, comes back in for your Emory Eagles. Nick Stuck remains out there along with Greg Lawrence, Roman Williams, and Matthew Schneer. Almost stolen away. Now back to Riley. Riley shoots a kind of an off-balance three-pointer. No good. Quick with the rebound. Back to Clement Owens. Inside. Back outside. Riley with it. He's quick off the dribble. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Clement Owens comes back out. Riley again with a three-pointer. Just barely hit the rim. And Roman Williams hauls off the rebound. Then he hauls toward his hoop. And he's fouled. This guy is amazingly quick with the basketball. So at 3.11 to go in the first half, Emery with a seven-point lead. Roman Williams going to the free-throw line. Roman has seven points already. He has a three-pointer. And four three thro free throws. Make it five free throws. He'll put up the second one. In it goes. And quickly a whistle blown. The foul. This is on number 31, Cole Husky. And so Emory goes right back to the free throw line. Matthew Snare, who's averaging 18.7 points per game. He's a 79% free throw shooter. Just having an outstanding all-around season. He's a great scorer, great defender. He's leading the team in rebounding with 7.3 rebounds per game. And just a solid guy out there. Very high basketball IQ. Matthew Schneer now with the free throw, makes it. Matthew with seven points in the game today, averaging 18.7. And he hits the other one. And Emory now with his biggest lead of the game at 37-26, an 11-point Emory lead. Emory's going to continue that full court Zone pressure, kind of a 1 2 1 1 type trapping zone. Cole Husky brings it across. Now to Clement Owens, to Riley. Emory's defense been very solid today. Riley inside. Number 33, Michael Joseph, who lays it up and in. Joseph's averaging six points a game. Just got a third of that right there on that one shot. 37-28. Clay Washburn with it. Three-pointer by Clay. In and out, no good. Great try by Matt Davitt to get the rebound. And he's going to go to the free throw line. The foul on number 11, Miles Riley. And that's his second. 
Cole Husky takes a seat now for the Lions as Andrew Simpson comes back in. Matt Davitt's averaging 18.4 points per game, five rebounds per game. He's hitting 3.7 three-pointers per game. The 6'7 junior out of the University of Heights, Ohio. Is having an outstanding junior season. He hits the first one there. He's hitting 91% of his free throws. And of course, I jinx him immediately. 38 28, Emory with a 10 point lead. 2.26 to go here in the first half. Piedmont College over to Riley now. Riley checked by Schneer and then. Thrown away, Mason with it, ahead to Roman Williams. He goes to the hoop, lays it up, no good. Matt Davitt was battling and scrapping in there, and I think they might have whistled him for the foul. Yep, they got Matt on that one, that's his first. He's got 11 points to lead Emory in scoring. Roman Williams has nine, Matthew Schneer has eight. All three of those guys have played solidly all season long. Into the corner goes the Stimson. The Quick, Quick trying to go inside, has to come back outside. Long Ranger by Stimson, no good. Big battle for the offensive rebound. Yeah, it looks like they got Mason Johnson with the foul. That's his first, the team's fourth. And it's going to be Lions basketball under their own hoop. Clement Owens triggers it in. Riley with it, takes it into the paint, has nowhere to go. Comes back out to Riley. He throws one up underhanded. The ball comes back to him, but he's standing on the out-of-bounds line. So it's going to be Emory basketball with a minute 33 to go. Emory up by 10, 38-28. Clay Washburn takes a seat as uh, Lawrence Rowley comes back in. Nick Stuck brings it down court. Team's point guard getting things going. To Matt Davitt, to Roman Williams. Long range three pointer, in and out, no good. Rowley with a terrific offensive rebound. Comes back out to Davitt from way downtown, no good. Rowley again, back to back offensive rebounds. Roman Williams with another try and it can't go last touch by an Emory Eagle and it's going to be Lions basketball boy Emory hitting 39 percent from the home run arc they are not shy about shooting and they're very good from shooting out there but they missed those Lawrence Rowley with a tremendous effort on the offensive glass but it's Lions basketball with a minute to go here in the first half Stimson with it And it goes to Riley. Riley takes it in and is fouled. Foul's going to be on Matt Davitt. That's his second. So he's going to sit the last 50 seconds. No re reason to risk him getting a third foul. Riley misses on the first one. Mason Johnson comes back in. 38-28, Emory up by 10. This game was tied at 8-8. And Emory's outscored him by nine as that one goes in. 38-29. Nick stuck across the timeline now. 45 seconds to go, 24 on the shot clock. Schneer with it, drives into the paint, comes back out to Rowley. Nick stuck with it now, 13 seconds on the shot clock. In his side, it goes to Mason Johnson, jumper, jumper. In it goes, Mason Johnson. 40 to 29, 11 point lead for the Emory Eagles. The trap's still on, This, if nothing else, gets the shot clock to go faster. 
Eight seconds to go in the half. Clement Owens with it. He's got to get something going. Kicks it out to the side. Stimson with it hits, but there's a whistle. And he stepped out of bounds. So 2.1 seconds to go. Emory's going to get maybe a shot off. Look at this. Rowley running. Almost went in. And at the half, Emory with an impressive 11 point lead, 40 to 29, your score. Let's check out the leading scores now. First for your Emory Eagles, Matt Davitt leads the way with 11 points. Roman Williams has nine. Matthew Schneer has eight. Clay Washburn has four. Greg Lawrence has two. Nick Suck has two and a nice 15 foot jumper. Lawrence Riley's done a great job on the boards. He has five rebounds and two points. Mason Johnson has two points, and that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. For the Piedmont College Lions, they're led in scoring by Justin Quick with six points. Will Richter has five, coming off the bench and doing a nice job. Warry Clements Owens has four. Aaron Palmer has four. Jordan Foote has four. Andrew Stimson has three. Michael Josephs has two. And Miles Riley, the starting point guard, has one, and that's your scoring. So right now, at the break, Emory with an 11-point lead at 40 to 29. We'll be right back after this. morning is so energizing. It is a celebration of cancer survivorship. And I think it is also a celebration of everyone here patting each other on the back and saying, collectively, job well done, and we're going to win this fight. I cannot thank you enough on behalf of the Winship Cancer Institute for being here, you are raising money for cancer research. You are taking a stand for everybody who will face this battle in the future. We cannot stop. We need to push harder and win the fight against cancer. I lost my sister to a battle with cancer five years ago, so it's a very personal experience for me to be connected to this. I mean, we think of running as an individual sport, but when you do it in a team environment, when, when you're doing it for a cause, when you're lifting each other up, I mean, certainly, I'm sure there's gonna be some runners that are gonna zip through it, and some that are gonna have to fight a little bit harder, um, but that's what teams are about. It's about lifting up um, each person on the team. There'll be 3,500 people here. There'll be 3,500 reasons people are here. And I couldn't be more appreciative of that effort of so many people to, to get up on a beautiful Saturday morning and devote their time, their energy, and their resources to this event. We know the road to progress against cancer is not a smooth, flat road. So we found every hill in Druid Hills, and we're going up it, and then we're going down it such a great thing to have all these volunteers along the route cheering on the races and runners we don't want to be quiet about cancer we want to be loud about what's happening and how we can support those who are going through it and support our doctors and all the great work that we're doing here at Winship. Cancer research is the key um, being part of an academic medical center that uh, pulls in all the resources that make that cancer research you know work together you know can't be duplicated. And Winship is the only NCI-designated comprehensive cancer center in the state of Georgia. And because of that designation, it is ranked in the top 1%. And I know by being here that I'm getting the very best advanced cancer treatment. If you think we made a big deal of the Winship 5K 9th edition, wait till the 10th edition. We'll see you next October, and thank you.
shoulder, or your hip, or your knee. The sports medicine specialists at Emory Healthcare treat more world-class, professional, and college-level athletes than anyone else in the state. We'll treat you like a pro and get you back in play. When you're in college, you kind of find out who you are. And throughout your four years, you develop yourself with all the different experiences, which leads into dedicating yourself to your community, to your family. So when you're a senior, you're coming out a well-rounded person. College has given me the flexibility to pursue my passions and my interests outside of the classroom and outside of the court or field. I've had the ability to get into different activities and organizations, and I've recreated my identity for myself aside from just being an athlete. Getting to be involved in a lot of different things, ranging from obviously being a student athlete to getting involved with my campus and my community, and not only being allowed to do that, but being encouraged to do that. The opportunity be, to be able to study what I wanted to and continue to play the sport I love, to have the professors know me on a personal level, all of those things came together uh, very nicely in one package in Division Three. Being a part of the different activities and organizations that I've been a part of, I'm actually able to see myself where I'm like, hey, I actually can make a change. I'm one person that can make a difference. It really helps you develop thinking from other people's perspectives and looking at problems from outside the box. Division three has helped me to develop teamwork skills, critical thinking skills, time management skills. I've definitely learned how to really be myself. I found out, yes, I am actually a good leader, and yes, I can actually put myself forward because I am good enough. I can do it. Coming in to college, I just wanted to get good grades and to do well. But I also made me realize that I have a lot of different career goals and I've learned so much about myself that I was always like growing and changing. When I got to college, it forced me to step up and become more of a leader. And I think that was something I had the capability of doing. And forever grateful that being at a Division three school gave me that opportunity. You have to dedicate your time in the classroom. You have to dedicate your time in the gym, on the field, on the court. Our coaches and all the entirety of the athletic department, they valued the student athlete going out to community and trying something new and getting involved in campus life. You can get involved in so many different things. Um, so the possibilities are truly limitless for what you can do with your college experience. You can kind of make it your own in the Division Three setting. So I would encourage people who want to have flexibility to pursue different interests and passions to go D3.
Welcome back to Emory University men's basketball. We are at halftime of the Emory Piedmont College Lions basketball game. I'm Mark Harmon, the voice of the Eagles. And right now, Emory on top by 11 points, 40 to 29. Let's take a look at some of the halftime stats. Right off the bat, something that strikes you. Emory just uh, 12 of 30 from the field in the first half, shooting 40%, well below their season average. And also, Emory just 5 of 17 from three-point range. That's 29% where they're hitting 39% as average. They've hit 11 of 13 from the free throw line. That's 85% for the free throw stripe. So Emory up by 11 points right now. The leading scorers for Emory, Matt Davitt with 11 points, Roman Williams with nine, Matthew Snare has eight other scores. Nick Stuck has two, Lawrence Rowley has two, and five big rebounds. Four on the offensive glass as Lawrence Rowley has really uh, done a tremendous job on the offensive glass. Uh, Greg Lawrence has a couple of points, Mason Johnson has two, and Clay Washburn has a three-pointer and a free throw for four points. Uh, Emory out rebounds the Lions by a total of 20 to 17. Emory with nine turnovers in the first half. They created 10 turnovers uh, for the Lions. Uh, the Lions are led in scoring by uh, Justin Quick. He has six points. Ori Clements Owens has four. Jordan Foote has four. And Will Richter came off the bench, and he has five. He's the leading scorer. Aaron Painter also, uh, or Aaron Palmer has four points as well coming off the bench for the Lions. So that's your scoring right now, 40 to 29. Emory with the lead at the half. Emory, of course, 8-0 on the season. They are ranked number two in all of Division Three. A couple of games coming up at the end of the month. On the 29th of December, the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh comes to the Woodpeck Center. Then on the 30th, it's Guilford. That's the Emory Holiday Classic. Emory will tip off defense of the UAA Championship on January 11th, right here at home against the Rochester. And of course, Emory went 20 and six last year, made the NCAA playoffs, won the UAA championship. And this year, those goals remain the same as well as perhaps a goal of a national championship this year. Emory's had 10 consecutive winning seasons under coach Jason Zimmerman. They made seven consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. They made the Elite Eight in 2014. They made the Sweet 16 in 2014, 15, 16, and 18. They've been UAA champs in uh, 2013, 15, 16, and 19. And of course, they also won UAA championships in 1989 and 1990. Second half underway, Emory up by 11. And let's see what happens over the final 20 minutes of play. Nick Stuck with the basketball, the original starting five in there for uh, Emory. Matthew Schneer, Matt Davitt from three, hits it right off the bat. Matt Davitt with another three-point dagger, and Emory with its biggest lead of the game, 43 to 29, as Emory imposes its will on yet another opponent. 14-point Emory lead. Cross court it goes, quick with it, dribbles into the paint, comes back out. Clement Owens with it to quick, quick inside the foot, foot, no good, tipped up once and in nicely by Michael Joseph. To cut their Emory lead to 12. Emory now with it. Roman Williams, long pass inside, back out it goes. The Lions looking to score. Dish it off by Quick. Nice dish to Michael. Joseph, who hits both the uh, field goals so far. Long ranger by Schneer, in and out, no good. And boy, there's Foote hauling in one of his rebounds. He's averaging 9.2 rebounds per game for the Lions. And it's a 10-point Emory lead at 43-33. Riley crashing into people as he drives in. Let's see how the officials whistle it. The officials today are Corey Taylor. Jarrett Robinson and Michael Carlin. The ball goes against Emory. That's their first team foul of the second half. And Riley hits the first. Riley's averaging 10 points a game and 3.6 rebounds per game. He's a 
the six foot senior out of Buford, Georgia, played his high school ball at Mill Creek. The lead now cut to nine. Going against the zone defense. Inside it goes to Davitt. Has already hit one three pointer this half. Stuck back to Davitt into the corner to Schneer. Schneer almost let one fly. Shot clock running down. Stuck misfires. Rowley battling for it. It goes out of bounds. Last touch by Clement Owens. So it's going to be Emory basketball underneath their own hoop. Nick Stuck's going to trigger it inbounds. 18-01 to go here in the first half. Emory with a 43-34 lead. Schneer with a good fake. A little bit of trouble. Gets it out to Roman Williams between his legs. You just can't get too close to Roman Williams. He's so quick he can just dribble it right past you. Schneer drives in. Puts it up. No good. Tipped up once. No good. Out come the Lions on the fast break. Jumper, good by number 24, Corey Clement Owens. And the lead's now down to seven, 43-36. Swish, long range, three-pointer, Matthew Snare. And it's 46 to 36 on a Snare three-pointer. Blocked nicely by Rowley, Rowley. Playing great defense. He's dominated the offensive boards. And he just swatted that one, swatted that one away. He's now harassing the inbounds, and it's almost stolen by Rowan Williams. Quick with a three-pointer, and he hits. So it's 46 to 39 now, the seven-point lead. We mentioned that Emory's three-point shooting was a little bit below par in the first half. They've come out hot in the second half. Another three-pointer, no good. Great offensive rebound there by Mason Johnson. And then the three-pointer. 12 points from Roman Williams as he hits. That puts the lead back up to 10 at 49-39. This is a timeout with 16.47 to go here in the second half. Let's take a look at the Edmont, Emory Piedmont series notes right now. Emory leads the all-time series 12 to 3. First meeting was back in January 29th, 1988. Emory wins that one 104 to 88. Emory has won the last four meetings between these two teams. And Emory's 8 and 1 versus Piedmont College here at the Woodpeck Center. They won the last five here in Atlanta. So that's how the series stands. Coach Jason Zimmerman only concerned with this one. 49-39, stolen away. The full court pressure finally harassing the Lions enough to make a turnover in their own territory. And then Roman Williams is kind of caught in the face by number 24, Ori Clements Owen. Unintentional, but you know, kind of got him there. So he got the foul. That's his first, team's first. Inbounds it goes. Roman Williams off his foot, picked up by Rowley. Rowley takes the baseline, backs in, puts it up, and they say he stepped on the out of bounds line, so it's gonna be Lions basketball. Roman Williams with 12 points. Matthew Snare with 11. Matt David has 14. He's sitting now getting a breather. Stolen away, wild scramble for the basketball. And there's a timeout called, I think, to keep on the possession. So it's 49-39. Emory with a 10-point lead, 16-11 to go in the ball game. On this day, December 7, 2010, Emory posts an 80-67 win at Covenant College. Emory shoots 53.6% for the field in the second half. Emory outscored Covenant College 44 to 29 over the final 20 minutes of play. Emory has five players scoring double figures. Freshman Jake Davis leads Emory with 18 points and six big rebounds. And Emory's ranked number 24 that day, the first ever national ranking. And should we make note that their highest national ranking is right now. They are ranked number two 
in all of Division Three basketball, undefeated, 8-0, and and getting national recognition for the excellent program that Coach Jason Zimmerman has put together. Clements Owens misfires, just rolls off the iron. Good rebound by Rowley and ahead to Stuck. Emory with a 10-point lead, 49-39 in the basketball with 15.52 to go. Into the corner it goes. Schnair trying to get it inside, comes back out. Clay Washburn, number 33, is checked in for the Emory Eagles. Stuck, shoots, no good. A whistle away from the action. And it's going to be Lions basketball. Emory picking them up with a little pressure. Stuck and snare. And it goes to Michael Joseph, number 33, to Riley. Riley dribbles in, puts it in left-handed, no good. Tipped in, but it's not going to count. I think they got Lawrence Rowley on the foul. That's going to be his first. That's the team's third here in the second half. So shooting two is going to be Michael Joseph from Swanee, Georgia, 6'5", junior. He hits the first. He's averaging six points a game and 4.4 .4 rebounds per game. Andrew Stimson also checks in for the Lions. As Justin Quick takes a breather. Joseph makes them both. Cuts the Emory lead down to eight at 49-41. Top of the key to Stuck. Stuck penetrates, comes back out. Rowley bounce pass to the side. Schneer with it inside, back to Rowley, back outside to Schneer. Top of the key it goes. Four seconds on the shot clock. Inside it goes to Rowley. Terrific pass. Clay Washburn, lob pass to Rowley, who hits just as the buzzer was about to sign on the shot clock. And Emery with a 10-point lead now, 51-41, and a timeout call. Let's take a look at the UAA records right now. Emery, picture perfect, 8-0. Rochester, they're coming in on January 11th. They're 7-1 here in the pre-conference play. Wash U, likewise, 7-1 in pre-conference. Brandeis is 5-2. Carnegie Mellon, 4-2. NYU, the Violets, 5-3. Case Western Reserve is 4-3. And, and Chicago is 2-5 overall. Of course, a tip of the cap to Dr. Michael Vienna and his top lieutenant, Joyce Julio, who run the athletic program here at Emory University. 27 national titles. 203 UAA championships, 191 academic All-Americans, and 116 NCAA post-grad scholars. So congratulations to Dr. Vienna and Joyce Jalil, who do such a great job here running the athletic department here at Emory University. I think the ball went off quick. Clement Owens' foot, but I guess not, because they're going to give it back to the Lions. Michael Joseph is going to trigger it inbounds. He's checked by Greg, Lor Greg Lawrence, who just checked in. Pass comes way out to Riley and to Clements Owen. 51-41, Emory by 10. Emory in the man-to-man -man defense. They've been in most of the game here. Riley turnaround jumper, no good. And a nice rebound by Nick Stuck, the point guard. Just went up and grabbed it, gives it back to... Matt David, who just checked back in. David with 14 points. He leads Emory in scoring. Roman Williams from three. Hits, swish, nothing but the bottom of the net, and that's 15 big points for Roman Williams. 13-point lead. Biggest lead for Emory was 14 right at the beginning of the second half. Foot from three. Swish, the big fella hits that one. He's the team's leading scorer at 13.8 points per game. He's from Snellville, Georgia. Went to Druid Hills High School. Cuts the lead back to 10 at 54-44. Stolen away now. Ahead, nice pass, but no good. It followed up beautifully by 
by number 35, Jordan Foote. So Foote's kind of getting hot on us at the wrong time. He's our leading scorer, 13.8 points per game. Nice give and go there. Emory couldn't quite capitalize, but it looks like Greg Lawrence is going to go to the free throw line. 6'6 six, six freshman, 205 pounder out of Fairfield, Connecticut. He's averaging 2.3 points per game and 1.4 rebounds per game. The left-hander misfires on that one. He's a 67% free throw shooter overall for the season. Emory's lead at eight. 54-46. Then as high as 14. Hits the second. And the full court pressure continues. Evan Easton has checked into the lineup for the Lions. He's got it now. Gets it to Stimson. And a whistle. Another foul on Emory. 13 minutes to go in this game. That's on Roman Williams. That's his first. He leads Emory with 15 points. Matt Davitt has 14. Matthew Snare has 11. So three guys in double figures for the Emory Eagles. That's the Lions misfire on that one. Lawrence Rowley has six rebounds to lead the way. Matt Davitt has five. They hit the second, so it's 55-47. 12.54 to go. Great pass into Matt Davitt. Lawrence Rowley saw his teammate wide open. Great zip pass. And David has laid it up and in for Matt David. He has 16 points. 57-47. But great vision by Lawrence Rowley as Riley hits. Cut the lead back to eight. The corner it goes. Matt Davitt from three, just a little short. And it's gonna be Lions basketball. Stimson with it now. Over to Riley. Quick. Easton. And stolen away almost. Easton gets it back. Finds Foot. Foot with an air ball. The crowd getting on him there as Roman Williams brings it up for it quickly. That's the only pace he goes at is quickly. Boy, he thought about launching the 30-footer, 30, 30, 30 and he can hit from out there. Nick Stuck from 15. He hits the point guard of the Eagles. Makes it 59-49, to 49, a 10-point lead with 11.36 to go. Easton with it now. He brings it up with the left hand. Looking for someone to give it to. Finds Stimson. Emery man-to-man. Schneer ch checking Stimson. Crash into Foot. And Foot's a big target. He's 6'4", 230 pounds. The junior out of Snellville. Will Richter, number 10, checks back in for the Lions. Mason Johnson checks in for the Emory Eagles. So it's Davitt, Johnson, Schneer, Stuck, and Roman Williams in there for the uh, Emory Eagles. And Gray, quick with it. Nice defense. Davitt comes up with it and quickly up court is Roman Williams. Between his legs two or three times. I couldn't count. Misfires on that running one-hander, but gets his own rebound. Puts it back up off the glass and won't quite go in. Roman Williams is all over the court. Rebounding, passing, scoring inside, scoring outside. He's got 15 points and looking for more as he heads to the free throw line for the Emory Eagles with a 10 point lead now with 11.07 to go. Hits that one, he's got 16 points, as does Matt Davitt. Lawrence Rowley checks in as Davitt takes a quick breather. 81% free throw shooter, and it goes. So he has 17 points. Emory has a 61 to 49 lead. Easton with it, drives into the corner, is trapped, almost stolen away as Schneer saw a chance to double team and did. 
No good on the jumper. Snare comes up with it. He's going to lead the fast break. Stuck from outside. Roman Williams from three. And you betcha. Three-pointer. Roman Williams now with 20 big points. Emory with its biggest lead, 64-49, to 49, a 15-point lead. We like the breathing room. Easton with it now for the Lions. Keeping control, backs in, shoots a jumper and hits. Evan Easton on a one-man wrecking crew there, and there's a timeout called with Emory with a 13-point lead now at 64-51. to 51. Here are your Emory scoring leaders. Roman Williams pacing the way, just a tick under 20 points per game. Matt Schneer at 18.9 points per game. Matt David at 18.4 points per game. Lawrence Rowley with 15 points per game. And then Nick Stuck right at eight points per ball game. And those are your leading scorers for your Emory Eagles. Tonight we've got Roman Williams with 20. Matt David has 16. Matthew Snare has 11. Nick Stuck has four. Lawrence Rowley has four and six big boards. Clay Washburn has four points. Greg Lawrence has three. Mason Johnson has two, and that's your scoring for the Emory Eagles. For the Lions, they're led in scoring by Justin Quick, who has nine points. Will Richter has eight. Jordan Foote has seven. Miles Riley has six. Ori Clemens Owens has six. Aaron Palmer has six points. Michael Joseph has six. Evan Easton just hit that two-pointer there, and Andrew Stimson has a point, and that's your scoring for the Lions of Piedmont College. Right now, Emory with a 13-point lead at 64-51. to 10-20 to go in this basketball. It's going to be Emory basketball. Rowley triggers it in. Nick Stuck's got it, and here we go. He's checked by Will Richter. Good give and go. Nice pass by Nick Stuck. Nice hoop by Rowley. And he's going to get the opportunity for the three-point play. Let's check it out in super slow motion. Instant replay. Just a great give and go. As Nick Stuck saw his teammate open, he gave it up with a terrific zip pass. And then Lawrence Rowley laid it up and laid it in. Now a little mop-up work to do underneath. There's Coach Jason Zimmerman popping up. He predicted it to be 66 to 51 with 10-11 to go. All right, here's Lawrence with a chance for the three-point play. Off that great pass by Nick Stuck, he hits. And Emory now with a 67-51 lead, that 16-point lead, the biggest of the game, a steal. Give it up to Rowley. Rowley lays it up and in. Nick Stuck again just kind of gave it to his teammate who put it in. Then with the full court pressure, it goes out of bounds. No, wait. I think they called a foul. I thought that just went off the lion's leg, but nope, they called Matt Snare with the foul. That's his third. And he's going to take a quick breather. Great hustle on his part. I thought he'd come up with the steal. Clements Owens with it. Checked by Nick Stuck. Emory up 69 to 51. An 18 point lead. Three point attempt. In it is, it goes. Roman Williams with the home run bomb. 23 points for Roman Williams. As I mentioned at halftime, Emory shot just 29% from the home run arc in the first half, which was 10 points below their average of 39. Well, they picked up the pace considerably here in the second half. Long range again, just short, great rebound. Lawrence Rowley with five or six offensive rebounds, and then Matt David puts it in. So Emory now with a 74. 51 lead, 23 point lead, biggest of the game. And we've got a timeout called. No, hang on, check that. 
Now there's a time. I knew there should have been a timeout called. I'd have called a timeout. Anyway, it's 74 to 51. Emory cruising now with a 23-point lead, 8.55 to go in the ball game. And let's check out the Emory rebounding leaders. Lawrence Rowley, 8.6 rebounds per game. Matthew Snare at 7.8. Matt Davitt, 5.3 rebounds per. Mason Johnson coming off the bench has 4.3 rebounds. And the shooting guard, Roman Williams, 4.1 rebounds per game. In terms of scoring right now, Roman Williams has 23 points. Matt David has 18. Matthew Snare has 11. Lawrence Rowley has nine, so he's closing in on double figures. Nick Stuck has four. We quickly, quickly check the uh, three-point shooting. Emory is now 11 of 27 for 40.7 percent, which is just about the average for the uh, the season. But as I mentioned in the first half, they were five of 17. And so now it's all the way up to 11 of 27, a very respectable 40.7% from the home run arc for the Emory Eagles. And they have increased their lead from 11 points at 40 to 29 at the half to 23 points right now at 74 to 51. Lions trying some uh, full court pressure. Zip pass nicely to Davitt. Davitt is hammered, no whistle. And the Lions come out with it. Andrew Stimson with it. He goes to Riley. Riley goes to the hole. Rowley blocks it, but they called Lawrence for the foul. He thought he had all ball. The referee disagrees, so it's his second foul. It's the team 16 foul this half. Riley goes to the line, misfires on that one. Matthew Snare checks back in, and Roman Williams is going to take a breather. So Emory with a taller than average uh, lineup in there. Nick Stuck's going to be the ball handler, and then four guys, pretty good size. Lions with the full court pressure. Nick Stuck looking for somewhere to go. Emory breaks the press. Rowley now to Snare, Snare top of the key to Stuck, Stuck to Washburn, wide open, good. Play Washburn with a three-pointer, and boy, I don't know what Coach Zimmerman told the guys at the half about shooting better from the home run arc, but they are red hot from the three-point stripe. Boy, that ball came right back out to Will Richter, who just laid it up and laid it in. Clay Washburn takes it in, hits a jumper, so five quick points by Clay Washburn. Emory now leads at 79 to 54. A 25 point lead, that's the biggest of the game. 734 to go in this game. Stimson with the basketball. He goes to foot, puts the leading score on the season, averaging 13.8 points per game. And there's an offensive foul called against the Lions. So it's going to be Emory basketball. A little confusion down there, but we're ready to play basketball now. Looks like there might have been matching fouls. Anyway, here's Nick Stuck with it. Turnaround jumper, no good. Rebound nicely there by Joseph. Head quickly to foot. Foot shakes, fakes, drives the hoop. Blocked nicely. And Emery gets the basketball. Greg Lawrence, those long, rangy arms coming up with a nice block. Clay Washburn, no, he was feeling it. He had five quick points, and that one was close. Emory by 25, under seven to go. Riley takes it to the hole, no good. Tipped up once, no good. Clay Washburn with it. And the foul's gonna be on an Emory Eagle. It's on 
Blake, Greg Lawrence, number 12. That's his third. That's the team seventh. And it's going to send Jordan Foote to the free throw line. 6'4", 230-pound junior out of Snellville, Georgia. Went to Druid Hills High School. He's averaging 9.2 rebounds per game and 13.8 points per game. Roman Williams checks back in. Clay Washburn takes a seat. He had a nice session there with five quick points. Clay has nine on the game. 79-56. Nick Stuck now as Stimson's just going to pick him up man-to-man -man full court. Nick Stuck with no troubles there. Roman Williams with the head fakes. The amazing thing about Roman Williams, he can head fake as he dribbles. And it drives the defenders crazy. Schneer maybe got away with a step. Roman Williams takes it. Back out. Matt Schneer. No good. Good rebound by the point guard. Nick Stuck. Three-pointer. No good by Roman Williams. Rebound. Long range. No good. Rebounds. Greg Lawrence. He puts it up and in. Greg Lawrence kept that ball alive two different times. And finally goes and gets it and scores. Great effort by the freshman out of Fairfield, Connecticut. He's got five points today. A left-hander eyes it, skies it, flies it. A little bit short there. Foot with the rebound. Emery with a big lead, 81 to 56. Emory basketball after the turnover. Mason Johnson will trigger it in. Lions with some full court pressure. Stimson trying to press Nick Stuck man to man full court. Nick says, I can handle that. Clock continues to run. Clock is Emory's friend. Mason Johnson with a terrific one man play. Put it up with the left hand and in it goes. Mason Johnson. Makes it 83 to 56, 27 point lead. And a steal, Emery back with it, long range, Roman Williams, yes, score it, Roman Williams, 26 points. He's been unbelievable in the second half. Roman Williams with five three pointers. Make it six three-pointers now, 26 points. And Emory with a 30-point lead at 86 to 56. Emory led at the half, 40 to 29. Lions got as close as seven in the second half. But Emory's just taking control over the last five or six minutes. Foot kicks it with his foot. Picked up by Roman Williams. Great pass inside. Misfire, unfortunately, by Snare. But a nice effort. Good pass there. To the hole go the lines. No good. Good rebound there by Mason Johnson. Stolen back away. And ahead to foot. He lays it up and in. Full court pressure now. No give up in the lines. They're down by 28, but they're going to play their hearts out. Fake, snare, three, in. Nice shot. Boy, oh boy, I have to go back to the halftime stats, and I said, look at this. Five of 17 from the three-point mark for the Emory Eagles. Just 29%. That's just not what Emory's like. And boy, the second half, Emory has just been on fire from the three-point range. Let's take a look now on our super slow motion instant replay. The spin move into the corner. The fake, the drop back, the three, and in it goes. Matt Snare. Emery's just hit a tremendous amount of three-pointers here. They've got an 89 to 58 lead. Emery's zooming in on win number Nine on the season. For the game now, Emery 
is 14 of 35, 40% from the home run arc. That's excellent. They're 30 of 63, 47.5% from the field in general. So Emory really doing a great job here in the second half shooting the basketball. And they now sit with a 31-point lead. Husky with it, gives it away. Then Riley fumbles it away. It looks like they've called a foul. 4.17 to go. We want to remind everybody that Emory is back in action on the 29th and 30th of December in their Holiday Classic. University of Wisconsin Oshkosh comes in here, a 4 o'clock tip-off on the 29th. And then on the 30th, it's Guilford, also a 4 o'clock tip-off. Emory will host, uh, uh, will tip off the uh, UAA conference schedule. 4 o'clock on Saturday, January 11th. I, of course, will be here as conference play begins. And it should be just a very fun season for the Emory Eagles. Soon to be 9-0 and ranked number two in the country in Division Three basketball. Lonzi Portis has checked in, number 15 for Emory. Eighty-nine to sixty, Emory with a twenty-nine point lead. Luke Morrison has also checked in for the Emory Eagles. Portis now with it. Loses the handle. Quickly ahead. Clements Owens lays it up and lays it in. Full court pressure. This will be good uh, experience for Portis going against some full court pressure. Max Freed, also a freshman, to Luke Morrison. Hits the cutter, lays it up. Oh, it doesn't quite go. Luke Tepeyanin misses. Jumper now. In it goes. So Ori Clements Owens has hit a couple of shots. Emory needing a little help. They get it. Nick Tupiannon with it. Comes up to Portis. Now to Freed. Now to Luke Morrison. Three minutes to go. Ball stolen away by Husky. And it's Piedmont College basketball. Corner it goes. Husky with it. Now drops it in, comes back out quick with a three-pointer, no good. Nice rebound there by Greg Lawrence. Quickly up ahead, Tupiannon scores. Nick, the senior, had it over Massachusetts, who the coach says is just the greatest teammate ever, a great leader. He can be a good scorer, but just one of the guys you want to have in your program does all the right things, coaches up the younger kids, and is just a great example of what it means to be an Emory Eagle. Freed bowls his way, gives it up to Lawrence. Lawrence misfires. Freed keeps it alive. Portis now with it, comes back outside. Morrison finds Portis from three, in and out, no good. And then Greg Lawrence almost had a great offensive board, but couldn't quite get it. So here come the Lions. Minute 50 to go. Emory with a 91 to 64 lead. We got a timeout call. Looks like Piedmont's going to put in four new players. Get his. Uh, looks like Coach uh, Greg Neely's going to get uh, some of his uh, second teamers in there to get a little experience. Game's out of hand, 91 to 68, with a minute 48 here to go. The real key story is in the second half, Emory just on fire from the three-point arc. They went from hitting 29% in the first half to hitting 40% in the game. Leading scores for Emory, Roman Williams has 26 points. Matt David has 18. Matthew Snare has 14. Let's take a look. D3.com top 12 teams. Swarthmore leads the way, but there are your Emory Eagles, number two in the entire country. Undefeated, soon to be 9 0. Emory with 10 consecutive winning seasons, seven consecutive trips to the NCAA tournament. Coach Jason Zimmerman has a joggernaut here building and building. He starts five juniors, all those guys. Hopefully, we'll be back next year. 
a great group of underclassmen. Just one senior on the uh, on the uh, line up here with Nick Tepiannon, who does a great job in his role. He's on the court right now. Foul called. Foul is on Dubinake. He's a 6'5 freshman who Coach Z tells me has a ton of potential. Oops, stolen away. Getting a little bit raggedy here in the last couple of minutes. Portis with the rebound quickly ahead. Tuppian and gets it, lays it up and in. Nick with a couple of hoops today. And the crowd likes that. The senior out of Dover, Massachusetts, getting a couple of hoops here. 93 to 65. Crowd wondering if they'll hit the magic 100 mark. Emory's averaging 93.8 points per game. Free throw there. By Aaron Palmer, the 6'8 sophomore out of Marietta, Georgia, and Marietta High School. He played well coming off the bench in the first half. Gets a couple of points there. And of course, here's the full court pressure. Portis with it now. Running the show, freshman out of Alabama. Long range, in it goes. Luke Morrison with the home run bomb as that home run average just keeps getting higher and higher here in the second half. 96 to 67, under a minute to go. It'll be close, inside it goes, blocked nicely. Dubinake with the board, gets it out. Just a little bit short there by Pierce Coffey. The Lions drive in, Dipsy Doo, and in it goes. Nice hoop there by Chris Chumney. 25 seconds to go, Emory up 96-69. Logan Cranford takes it coast to coast, lays it in, so a highlight for him. Now Lonzi Portis says, you know, we don't really have to shoot this thing anymore. 96-71 isn't a bad final. And Emory now has won nine consecutive games this season. Emory 9-0, ranked number two in the country, dispatching Piedmont College's Lions by a final score of 96-71. to Let's check out the scoring here first. For your Emory Eagles, Roman Williams leads the way. 26 points, he had six three-pointers, eight of eight from the free throw line. Matt Davitt with uh, 18 points, he had two three-pointers. Matthew Snare had four three-pointers and 14 points. Lawrence Rowley had nine points and eight big rebounds. Clay Washburn had nine points and two three-pointers. Greg Lawrence had five points. Nick Tuppiannon came off the bench, he had four points. Nick Stuck with four, Mason Johnson with four and five rebounds. Luke Morrison has three points on a three-pointer there, and that's your scoring for Emory's Eagles. For the uh, Lions, Jordan Foote leads the way with 11 points. Will Richter has 10. Corey Clemens Owens has 10. Miles Riley has nine points. Justin Quick has nine. And Aaron Palmer also nine points, and a good uh, good job off the bench for the 6'8 uh, the sophomore out of Marietta High School in, in Marietta, Georgia. So the Emory Eagles win this one. 96 to 71. They're going to take a break now, take some tests, some, some uh, finals, and get ready. They're back in action on the 29th and 30th, the Emory Holiday Classic, the University of Wisconsin Oshkosh at 4 o'clock on the 29th. Guilford is in town on the 30th, also at 4 o'clock. And then the UAA Conference tips out January 11th against Rochester. So those games will all be on these same networks. You want to tune in for that. Until then, I'm Mark Hartman saying have a happy holiday season. The Emory Eagles are soaring 96 to 71. 
9-0 on the season, ranked number two in the country. What will 2020 hold for the Emory Eagles? I can't wait to find out. So until next time, have a great holiday season, and so long, everybody.